Hey guys, so I wanted to take some time to answer a few questions that I've been recently getting. Um, one is, what is reverse dieting? What does that mean? Um, so I'm going to talk a bit about that in this video, and I'm also going to show you how I go about tracking my macros and also my workouts. Let's do it. Hey guys, so uh, the first question I want to answer is in regards to reverse dieting. So similar to how when I'm going into competition prep, I slowly decrease calories, which is actually the last thing that I do, and I also slowly increase my cardio. Reverse diet for me represents doing that same thing in the opposite fashion. So I'm somebody that actually keeps cardio in my workouts year-round because I enjoy getting a nice sweat right at the end of my workout. Um, so I train six days a week. I actually do cardio for uh, 20 minutes, six days a week at the end of my workout, get a nice little sweat on. I typically do the stairs because I find for me that's the easiest way to reach my target fat burning heart rate um, as opposed to running is something that I've done in the past and my heart rate just gets way too high when I do that. Um, so as I'm going into a competition and starting my prep, usually anywhere from 12 to 16 weeks out, depending on where I'm at, I will slowly increase my cardio. So for instance, this time around for this fall season, uh, about 10 weeks out, I started increasing from 20 minutes. I added a, a couple of days of 30 minutes. Um, and then contingent upon how I look, because I'll take progress pictures. As you know, you see the ad selfies. Um, I, year-round, will take one set once a month of progress pictures in my poses to be able to look and see where I think I really need to focus on developing or growing more. Um, and similarly, I do that when I'm in prep to see how I'm leaning out, where my conditioning is dialed in and where it's maybe not dialed in. Um, so based on that, I slowly ratchet up and then I add a few more 30 minutes and then I go to 40 minutes and then if I need to. So this, this prep, I ended up doing six days at 45 minutes of cardio in addition to my regular weight training. Um, and I changed my macro split slightly to decrease my carbohydrate intake. I typically will cycle and I'll do um, higher carb day on a heavier weightlifting day, like a leg day or a back day. And then I'll do um, slightly lower carbs on like my delt day. Um, and then when it gets to a couple weeks out or three weeks out, I, I change completely and start doing really my peak week prep. So my fat and my carbs decrease quite a lot at that point and I usually will replace some of those calories with protein um, and overall I don't really touch my calories a huge amount my calories probably go down about 200 a day but my cardio like I just told you is year-round it's 20 minutes and I'm up to 45 minutes so I'm more than doubling my normal cardio and what that does is create the deficit so that you drop weight I'm able to cut weight and appear leaner and you're able to see more um, muscle separation and striations which is really the goal you want to be able to show off that muscle that you've been growing um, throughout the whole off season however long that's been for you so reversing what I'm doing now instead of oh shows are over stop all cardio go back to eating you know 200 more calories a day automatically um, I will slowly ratchet up my calories and I will slowly decrease my cardio. So in a similar fashion, you know, I think it was four weeks out that I started doing 40 minutes of cardio and then and then two weeks out I started going to 45. So for my couple of weeks after the show, I'm only two weeks post show right now, um, I, I've gone ahead and I've got still four days that I'm at 45 minutes and two days that I'm at 30 minutes. And my calories, I've gone, got my carbs and my fats back to where I was at uh, three weeks out um, and I'm gonna maintain that as long as my weight is staying and and I'm not having any crazy fluctuations um, and then I of course I add my cheat meal back in you've seen that so um, as I, my goal is usually to lose about a pound a week when I'm going into prep so similarly I don't want to go gain 10 pounds in a week I'd like to gain one to two pounds a week until I'm at that 
normal, whatever that normal level set is for, for me. Um, so slowly over time, over the next couple of months, because prep is, I just had what, a 12 week prep. So over the next probably 12 weeks, I'll be slowly dialing down my cardio and probably over the next month, I'll bring my calories back up because 200 calories is not a huge adjustment, but it's for me, it's really about getting the macro split back to where it was before, because I, I play with that quite a bit. Um, so that's really what reverse dieting is and how I track it. I have this planner, a uh, simple planner. It's got a page for every month. Um, and then it has the weeks and the way I use it. Let me go to one that's filled out. I actually, the monthly one, I write in all of my workouts. You can see I've got post-its at the top and what the post-its say are, what my goal is for that month based on my progress pictures and then what what's my workout split so what am i training together am i doing back and buys together or back and chest together am i doing quads uh, and hamstrings on a separate day or am i doing you know um glutes on one day and quads on another day so i write that all down and then what i do on the other pages i just write out all my meals and track my macros um and I also keep track, like here on this one that I happen to open up to is when I started cutting out for me um, some peanut butter because I'm a peanut butter addict. And if I have a little, I crave a lot. So I switch over to powdered peanut butter because I can stick to just eating one serving. Um, and then I, this is also the same week that I increased my cardios to 30s up from 20s. So I keep track of all that. I actually have one of these for every year since I've started. And it's a great way to be able to look back and see um, how I prepped for each of my shows and then I you know I have pictures to be able to look back and see how I looked and if that's the look I'm trying to achieve again or if I want to change things or dial in a little bit differently. Let me know what other questions you have. I'd love to answer them.